Good morning. Privateer FX coming at you. End of the week for the European Open. What a day yesterday. Holy cow. We got what we wanted in Euro in the beginning when Draghi was neutral. Euro shot up through the 124.59 highs, printed a high of 125.38. We consolidated and traded sideways up there for three hours. Uh, but then Trump came out and said uh, he wanted a strong dollar. And Euro collapsed down to 123.64. Made for some tough trading if you were short dollars. We obviously took our stop at 59, which was fine but annoying. We scratched a little bit of money trading it while it was up there. But um, just classic Trump, right? His staff says one thing, he comes out, says another. Crazy. Where does this leave us now? Well, nothing to do in Euro. We're mid-range. Cable, same thing. Cable dropped 250 points. Now we're exactly mid-range. Absolutely nothing to do there. Euro-Swiss I'll mention... Because as people were pummeling dollar Swiss yesterday, we touched 116.27, which is um, perhaps, if you look on the dailies, where Swiss Central Bank may be lurking. 116, the figure. I have no evidence of this other than the chart, uh, but it's worth noting it did bounce from there, uh, as did dollar Swiss. Dollar Swiss bounced on the Trump news. Um, so, again, big dollar, not much to do. So we're going we're gonna to move on to some crosses today, at least for the European game. And then we will relook at the dollar going into New York. We have durable goods and GDP, uh, which may give us direction. Let's take a look at our Aussie yen. Down to 75 last night, still lower highs, lower lows. We still feel like this 87.27 is going to break. We need stocks to collaborate. They almost collaborated yesterday, but then bounced. So now we have to wait, wait and see what Trump says in his little Davos speech. And we just wait to see what global equities do. Euro yen is a nice is a nice chart now. You just put on your neutral technical analysis hat and you go, well, I'm quite happy to buy this through the triple top of 136.31, or I'm quite happy to sell this through 135. The figure uh, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the tenth day of consolidation. This thing. Each day of consolidation, you could argue, gives it a little bit of more energy for a breakout move. Ten days of, of consolidation is unusual in FX. So just purely technically, we like this. We'll be trading both sides of this, 136.31 or 135 to figure. Sterling Yen, not so interesting. Uh, Aussie and Kiwi. Just have a look at this separately, and then we'll look at it together. Aussie, because of the Trump news, went down. Kiwi, because of CPI and the Trump news, went down further. Kiwi looks rather offered. But the chart of the day today is Aussie Kiwi. We got 110, which is psychological. We have a lot of participants in the market who have been asking for this to go higher, who have been <coughs> predicting this to go higher. This doesn't look bad. Uh, through 110, the figure, and then again through 110.50. Technically, this is a nice little setup. You could argue this is very close to a double bottom. This is a neckline, a bunch of daily highs at 95 in the figure. Uh, 
Um, this is not bad. Aussie Kiwi through 110. Let's look at the stock market just because it's annoying. We just nipped through the trend line, the daily trend line there yesterday. 30.75 the low. We sold 37s, 36s, 34s. We scratched that trade, which is fine. It's a professional scratch, as we call it in the business. And now we wait. It didn't pierce the line in a large enough fashion for me to say, well, the cat is out of the bag. We're still in this just neutral. I mean, bullish. Not neutral, bullish. Uh, but... For me now, I'm going to wait to see if we can get through Wednesday's low, which was 28, 25 and a half. This will trigger shorts for me. This will, on a correlation basis, I'll uh, be selling some yen crosses if we see that as well. Cryptos, real quick. Pretty steady. 11,300 Bitcoin. Ethereum. 1070. Steady this week. News about Davos. News about the dollar from uh, Munchen and Trump has been uh, driving the bus. And so cryptos are in the back seat this week. Anyway, just to recap, we're looking both sides your yen today and we're looking at Aussie Kiwi through 110. Very sexy. All right. Good luck, guys. Catch it in New York Open.